want to talk to you guys about this um, juicer that we recently purchased. We're trying to live more of a healthier lifestyle, be very mindful of what we're putting in our body. And so using fresh fruit and drinking fresh fruit and vegetable juices is one of the best ways to um, feed your body with the right nutrition. So we purchased this juicer. I absolutely love it. I never thought I would be one of those people who made and drank fresh juices. Um, but the filtration system on this really is top notch and you are getting the purest juices and the taste is like none other. So once you start, um, you're going to quickly be hooked in. So this is the juicer. Um, I, first of all, really love this color. Um, it's, it's a really nice color. It's very pretty. If you have the room to leave it on your counter, um, it's very modern looking, but it also comes apart pretty easily too if you do need um, more space somewhere. So it just comes apart like this. All these pieces come apart for easy cleaning as well, which is important. Um, but this actually just clicks in, you wind it up um, and clicks right in. Well, it would help if I put it in correctly. There we go and clicks right in um, and then you're ready to juice. So I want to show you, I'm going to turn this towards me. Um, you have the on button here, off button, and then reverse as well. So you have the, the button that all it does is plug in. You do have um, the juice cup right here. It does have measurements on it. So if you're needing fresh juices for cooking or you're making a recipe, it's already built right into there. And then the reservoir here. Um, this juicer does preserve 95% of the juices that come out, which is great. So you are literally utilizing your fruits and vegetables to its fullest. There's not a lot of ways. It's great for saving money as well. Um, and then the other thing that I really like about it is it does come with this little book with some great recipes. So if you're new to starting all of this out, you can follow the recipes and really quickly you'll find a couple favorites and then you'll start throwing little things into the mix. So I am gonna start with one of my favorites. It's a carrot and apple juice. I'm gonna show you um, using a fruit and a vegetable how this works. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and peel this apple really quick and then we'll start juicing. Okay, my apple slices are cored and peeled and then I use baby carrots because um, oh, we already buy them for my son anyway. So you can use regular carrots and cut them up, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I also want you to notice how quiet it is. It is very quiet, not super loud at all, um, which is, I think, super convenient as well. So I am going to put in some of the apples here. You can see the juice coming out. I also want to tell you that the slow moving part of the, um, the, the blade, I guess, or the rotator here, it's really slow. It doesn't move super fast like a blender. Um, if you have, if you've ever paid attention to how juices get their nutrients, oxidation will ruin the nutrients that are, that, you know, is in our juices and in our food. So when we use a slow rotator here. This is actually helping to keep the oxidation low and then it um, helps keep the nutrients in its purest form. So I'm going to bring the camera up close. You can see this going and you can see I put in a couple carrots and a couple apples and I mean look at the waste. Hardly anything. Okay, just want to bring you up close as I'm putting in so you can see it. Okay, I'll turn it off for now. So I want you to look at the waste here. I mean, it is bone dry. They've gotten literally all the juice out of it, which is nice. And then let's get the rest of the juice that comes out. Let's close that off. And look at that juice. Okay, now it's time to enjoy the fruit of my labor, if you will. And I am going to pour this into the glass. Look at that color. Again, you can take pride knowing you are drinking 100% juice. 
Um, and again, low oxidation, so the nutrients are all intact in here. Um, you can add honey, you can add milk to these things, but you don't need to. It's so sweet and so good. You're gonna be hooked. And the other thing is, I'm not a big pulp person, um, because it does such a great job at pulling out the juices and kind of taking all the extra stuff here, you have no pulp. It's really good.